guys welcome to my channel if you're new here welcome welcome thanks for stopping by and I hope you find this video helpful so let's get into today's video um, when I posted about me getting a job at IBM on my LinkedIn LinkedIn went crazy and a lot of people um, you know flooded to my portfolio to I guess take a look at the portfolio that got me the job right and I mean naturally so I would do the same thing and I realized that I was getting a lot of questions about you know how I did it you know what I did and um, tips on, on, on what to do as well which I am doing on this channel however one question that kept coming up a lot that I felt like was harder to explain you know in typing is how I embedded my um, interactive prototype on my case study or in my portfolio. And that's something that's kind of hard to, you know, convey across via, you know, text message or, or message, um, you know, like typing. So I decided to do this video to show you guys how I actually achieved that result. And I mean, it's, it's fairly, it's fairly easy. I remember when I was in the same boat, when I was putting together my portfolio and I would see other designers have that on there. I was like, man, like, how do they do this? And sometimes you can't really even contact them to, to try to ask. And it's like, do I even ask? Are they even going to share their tips with me? So I get it. You're in the same boat. And so I know how it feels like, and I wanted to do this video to help you guys out. So hopefully you find this very helpful. Um, yeah, let's get into it. <laughs> All right, so I have my um, my prototype pulled up for Designer's Vault. That's the one I'm going to show you guys, um, demonstrate for you guys. So I have that pulled up, and I also have my um, my portfolio pulled up. So I use Squarespace, and that's where I'm going to show you how I edit it. And I have another tab opened, you know, to show you how it actually looks like once I'm done. So let's go back to Adobe XD. I wanted to show you guys with Adobe XD first because I find Adobe XD a lot easier to use, and I feel like um, in, uh, in terms of adjusting the size of how the interactive um, prototype shows up, it's a lot easier and it's a lot customizable, um, more customizable here on Adobe XD. So, um, so right now we have our prototype. This is my prototype. And so I go over here to share. Okay. I come here to share and then of course it selects my flow. And then right here on this side, uh, you can see the options that it's going to create for me. So I have, um, how this is going, the view settings here just tells you how people are going to be able to view it. So you have um, design review. If you're sending this to someone to review your designs, this is, I guess, the best option they, they have for you. And they have development. If you're sending it to a development team to, you know, make take uh, make it into an actual app, this is what you use. And I have used that one. I sent my design, one of my designs to my husband. He's a software engineer. So uh, it's actually pretty dope. But um, yeah, that's the option you would use. Presentation, if you're, you know, presenting it and user testing, ideal for testing and uh, for testing your prototype. So that's um, one thing that I would say you can use, honestly. But I decided to do customize uh, the viewing experience just so I can have it show full screen and show the hotspots. I don't think if you do um, user testing, as ideal as that is, I don't think it, it does not show the hotspots when you click it. So um, I did custom just so I can allow the uh, hotspots and open in full screen. So that's the options that I chose and it's going to anyone with the link. So here is the kind of access you want to get, right? So if you're trying to send this um, prototype to just specific people then you click anyone with the link or no only invited people and whoever is going to ask you I guess for um, um, that is going to provide you with the link and then ask you for emails but since I'm putting this on my portfolio I'm going to do anyone with the link um, that is the option you're going to do because you want anyone who views your portfolio to be able to access it. So once that's done, so I've already created a link for it. So if you've never done it, it's going to, I think it's going to say create a link or something, but because I've done it before and I'm updating it, it says update link. So I click update link, um, just wait for it to finish, you know, creating the link for you. Do, 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 do. 
Okay, all right, so it's done. And then, so now you have a few options, right? You have this link here to, you know, straightforward um, down, uh, share it on Behance. And I mean, that makes sense. I think Behance is a Adobe, you know, product. Um, and then it has right here where you can just copy the link. And then if you want to email it to somebody, you can email it. But then right here in the middle is embed, embed, and that's what we're looking for. It's going to provide you with a source code where you can inject into your portfolio and voila, you have it. So I'm going to click that and it says code copied. Then I come to my portfolio. So like I said, I use Squarespace. So here I'm editing in the editing mode and I already have this one here. So I'm just going to probably create another one cause I don't want to mess with this. <laughs> so I'll just do edit. Um, and then I scroll down to where I have it. Okay. So right here is the interactive prototype. Um, so, okay. I think it's taking some time to load. All right, so right here is an interactive prototype. I, I do have a lot of things opened on my computer, so it's probably affecting the speed of this. Um, so usually once I get here, all I do is to, let's just put it right here, right? So I have this add a, I have this add button right here. Okay, and it's going to give me options. And I have code right here. So I'm able to inject code. I don't know, depending on whatever um, platform you use to host your portfolio, I don't know what kind of capabilities you have, but with Squarespace, depending on the plan you have, you do have the capability of embedding or injecting your own code. Um, I think the basic plan does not have it, but then the one above that and you know beyond, they do have that option. So that's, I have the option to embed code. So embed is what I was looking for, not code. So embed, right. So now it gives you right here. You can edit it. All right, I click here and I paste my code, right? So now you can see it's kind of like showing up here. So it's rendering, right? All right, so this is how it shows up, however, it takes up this whole block, which is kind of annoying. So, and it also just, since my background is white, it kind of blends into the, the background and you don't know where my app starts from or ends the edges. So this is where um, the magic comes in. So I have edited this frame board. I mean, frame border right here to Honestly, one is fine because it doesn't matter what you put, it's still going, going to look the same, All right? So now that puts a little box or frame around my actual project. So I changed the width and the height here, okay? So I did change that. I don't remember how what I did, but let me go and take a look. Let me take a look here and then and take a look. So I did 290 width and then 630 height. Okay, so let's change this. And I'll, I'm gonna tell you in a second why I'm changing the, the dimensions. So I think I did what 290. So 290 and then 630? 630. Okay. So the reason why I changed the width and the height is I just want it to be easily viewed um, when, you know, when recruiters or hiring managers are viewing this. Most likely whenever they look at your portfolio, I don't think they're going to look on their cell phone. Um, they would be viewing it from a laptop or a desktop and I wanted them to be able to see, you know, the top and bottom with whatever smallest, um, um, smallest laptop size possible. And I have a MacBook Air, which I think is pretty small. So if they're able to see the top, the height, the full height of my prototype on this small screen, then they will definitely be able to see it on bigger screens. And so that's why I changed the width and the height of my, um, of my uh, prototype. And the reason why I changed the width 
and the height together and not just the height is that changing the height will affect the width so if I only changed the height so let's see if I only changed if I only change let's say the height right six and then I left this as I don't know let's left let's leave it at 390 right the original 390 now this is look at what it's going to do you are not going to like this <laughs> I promise so all right so this is what it does this is stretched out okay so that means so they would have to scroll to even view the rest of your your portfolio or the rest of your um design <laughs> the rest of your design on here right so the the button that i had down here it's gone because the height and the width are not in a proportion that shows everything so that's why if you change the width you have to fix the height to accommodate for it because you don't want people clicking on your prototype and have to actually like scroll on your prototype itself to to see what you're doing that's not conducive um so yeah that's really it i'm obviously not going to save this because i have done <laughs> uh horrible things to discard and i'm going to leave my portfolio untouched because <laughs> i don't want to mess up anything but yeah so once you're done with that this is how it's supposed to look like this is how it looks like on a macbook air i'm sure if you have a bigger screen you know obviously you'll be able to see it entirely so that's how i was able to embed it here using um adobe xd i did want to show you guys real quick how i do it with figma because figma is a little bit different and I liked that I was able to do a website with Figma because I liked the fact that it added the look of a, um, a laptop in there for me, which I thought was pretty cool. Adobe XD does not do that. Um, so, you know, all these have their pros and cons. So let me go to, um, which one was that? Zoe's Cafe? Zoe's Cafe. Oh, by the way, Zoe's Cafe, the name is inspired by my last daughter. Her name is Zoe. And I just made up this cafe. I was like, yeah, I'm going to name it after my daughter. So Zoe's Cafe. Um, let's go to that and see how the interactive prototype looks like. Okay, so this is not a case study. It's just a UI concept that I did, so it's faster. All right, so this is how it looks. it looks like. Um, it does take longer for Figma to load. I don't know why. Um, that's you know one thing I don't necessarily like about Figma. It does take a lot um, a while to load. So let's give it time. Okay, come on, come on. All right, there we go. See, I told you it gives you like the you know the look of a computer. Okay, so. This is how that looks like when you scroll and menu, da, 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 da. So here I have my Figma. It's pretty much the same process, honestly. I have my Figma. I come here also to share. Um, and then it also gives you options. So, you know, here is option. You, you just want people to be able to view it, not edit it, obviously. So then anyone with the link can view it. And then the options down here, so it gives you copy link or get embed code, right? So you get the embed code and you go through the same process that we did with Adobe XD. So um, yeah, it's pretty much the same. Um, just a little bit of you know nuances um, with the different softwares. But yeah, if this was all confusing, let me know. I know I kind of like <laughs> rambled on at some point. I, it's kind of hard to even articulate this. So um, just just let me know if you need some more clarification, and I will you know. Try my best to clarify for you guys i hope you found this video helpful make sure to share it with your friends because you know you're not the only one who wanted to know this and now you do so make sure you share the goodness and let um all your friends who are struggling know this too all right i will catch you guys in my next video bye <laughs>